uh, Stephen got back to winning ways tonight. Uh, how do you feel about the, the performance? Yeah, really happy. Um, really happy. I think we've come back after a tough Dublin derby on Thursday night. Uh, and we've come and, and uh, some of it was really good tonight. I think if we take two or three of our, our really good chances, uh, it looks totally different. Um, a bit nervy at the end, but it's always that when it's 1 0. Um, but really happy with large parts of the performance. Yeah, like I say, it could have been 4 or 5 on the night, but there was a bit of a nervous energy around the atmosphere. Was the scoreline a bit too close for comfort in the end? Well, in any game, if you don't take your chances you, and it's 1 0, the other team are always in the game because uh, anything can happen. But like I said, if you look, I looked at the chances there. We had six clear-cut chances, and on another night we 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 take a few of them, and uh, and it's the score run. And obviously, the game looks totally different. Uh, but like I said, uh, some of it was really good. Um, again, we come up against a team that are sitting on the edge of the box, and and uh, it's not easy to play against when there's eleven players within thirty yards of the goal. But I thought the players managed that well and created some really good chances. Uh, the early goal was ideal to settle this down. Great work by Rory on the left, uh, finished off by Neil Ferrugia. Yeah, we, if, uh, Rory had worked that opportunity a few times in the first half. Him and Sean Cavanagh on that side. Uh, and Neil's run is fantastic run. He runs for the goal and, and gets his reward. Uh, man, the match award for Neil. Uh, with his pace and directness, he was always very dangerous on the night, wasn't he? Yeah, he was very good. Um, just continuing on where he's been, to be fair. Um, he was excellent. Like you said, he caused them problems all night and, and uh, obviously got the goal which is great yeah, like you say numerous opportunities second half Berkey had a couple of greener with the header at the end but we just couldn't quite put it to bed no we couldn't and when you do that they're always in the game um, but I think uh, like I said large parts of it were really good to create a lot of chances and uh, just unfortunately we didn't take many of the, the chances tonight a debut for young Carl Lennox another player with a, a proud day to remember yeah he's uh, he's been around us a few times carl has been on the bench and he's played in that uh, midfield role for, uh, for us in a few friendlies. Um, he played yesterday for the 19th in the centre half so he's versatile as well and, and uh, delighted to get him on the pitch. Uh, Al was having one of his quieter games until the error mark. He did have to tip one over the bar and uh, you keep breaking records at the club. That's 97 league clean sheets for, for Big Al. He's equal to club record held by Barry Murphy so a great night for him. Yeah, um, delighted for him uh, because he dedicates his life to his profession. So, uh, delighted for him and the save was fantastic. I was behind it, and when I hear it, I thought it was in. Um, it looked like it was in, and uh, Alan did brilliant to get his fingertips to it. But sign of a top keeper when you're not involved in the game, and and uh, we had so much possession and territory, he stayed focused and stayed switched on. Uh, five days now until Sligo on a Saturday. Probably your, one of her longest breaks this season, but uh, that's a big one now. Yeah, um, it's nice that we have a little break in between the game. And uh, it's always a tough place to go and play Sligo, we know that. Uh, but we also know we're at the business end of the season and, and it's about getting points on the board. And, and we go there obviously focused on doing that.